it's Reva here. So I'm back home. Um, that day I uploaded that video at me at the hospital. That was the day I went home. And I'm recovering from pneumonia. I still have it. Um, but I'm doing a lot better than I was before. That's why they sent me home. Um, I still have to go to the pulmonary doctor for my lungs because lupus wants to go crazy on my lungs for some reason but since I have this um, I have LSE so it's you know it can attack any part of my body um, you know any organ but um so that's what's going on now I don't need oxygen or anything like that right now but um, it is a little hard to do things now um, I get out of breath easily and uh, yeah that's kind of tough but I kind of think it might also be because I think I have this condition called POTS which is uh, it's called um, let me see if I can pronounce this right postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome it's a condition that affects blood flow in your body so <laughs> excuse me so when I stand up the blood pulls to my legs and I'm not getting enough, enough uh, blood to my head and so my heart is like beating super fast because everything is not circulating right so when I stand up my heart rate goes up so high guys it's I'll insert a clip right here But it goes up so high, like 120, 130, and the longer I stand and the longer I push myself, it keeps rising and causes me to get really dizzy. And I had like blackouts before. I haven't actually fainted, but I had like blackouts and I lose my hearing and it's just really scary. So I'm going to the cardiologist. Hopefully I can get an appointment with the cardiologist this week because I I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's POTS because I have all the symptoms. I have symptoms of overheating, having hot flashes. My body is not regulating its temperature right. And it's hard to sleep at night. Um, I get headaches often, and yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's hard, but I'll make it through. I'm planning to get a wheelchair to help me get around the house because right now I can't even um, get to the kitchen without feeling dizzy and feeling so out of breath. It's, it's tough. I mean... On top of that, I have other chronic illnesses too, which definitely gives me fatigue. <laughs> My stomach just growled. Oh, I haven't ate breakfast yet. I gotta make something to eat for breakfast. But um, I'm trying to think what else. 
yeah so I'm getting a wheelchair and I'm not gonna feel ashamed about getting a wheelchair there's you know I'm gonna be called an ambulatory wheelchair user which is someone that can walk or stand up not very long but for short distances and I'll need my wheelchair to get around and I'll need a power wheelchair because when my inverse psoriasis flares up it is so hard to move around and so there's no way I'll be able to push a wheelchair with my arms splitting with my underarm splitting so I'll need a power wheelchair and you know at first I was like I don't know I, you know I know how people are they'll definitely probably look at me funny they'll probably judge me or whatever because I look so healthy but inside I'm I'm not but um I'm not gonna be ashamed of having a wheelchair like I'm actually excited about getting one because I feel like I can't do anything right now I feel I don't want to say useless but I kind of do because I can't get to the kitchen or the bathroom it's hard it's hard and this all just started within like a month I don't know but uh apparently if you have lupus or secondary children's you can get pots too and um even if you don't have that um, you can still get it somehow I don't know but um yeah so that's the new diagnosis <laughs> I haven't been diagnosed yet, but I'm pretty sure I have that because, uh, I mean, what else could it be? I don't think lupus can cause your heart rate to just rise up like that as I just stand there, you know? That's the new thing that's been happening with me. Um, yeah. More videos to come, guys. Alright, bye.